Hi there, welcome to Ayoma Lives. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome to the family. I hope uh, you get to subscribe after you watch this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support, okay? Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and any suggestions, any questions you have. Let's just engage, all right? So as you've already seen on the title of the video, we are going to China Square, okay? Uh, you've seen a buzz. There's been a buzz in the mainstream media, on social media, on YouTube specifically about China Square. Hmm. For those who don't know, China Square is a supermarket that opened its doors to in the Kenyan market uh, early this year, January 2023. Hmm. And just a month after opening, so we're talking uh, February, there were demos from the local traders uh, trying to strike out China Square from the market. So anyway, China Square is at Unicity Mall, which is a mall owned by Kenyatta University along Thika Road. Uh, Thika Superhighway. We're talking 18 to 20 minutes from Nairobi CBD if you're driving and uh, it was opened in 2016 by the former vice chancellor of the university uh, dr olive mugenda after that it did not pick up it has been so silent until early this year that january that china square um, set foot in kenya or set foot at the mall and kind of now business a lot of businesses started picking up uh, from around the mall and also even within to date the mall is still very quiet because most of the shops are still empty but uh, the anchor tenant being the china square has sort of given revived the mall giving it a, a life yeah i hope you enjoy let's go <laughs> here's a glimpse of the thicker super highway the chinese outdid themselves one of the major chinese uh, projects in the country this was great this was great and right there is KU, Kenyatta University. And the next is uh, the mall, China Square within Unicity Mall. Let's go. So they have the outside and basement parking and they charge depending on the duration that you have taken there. Yeah, so we are starting this video at the parking lot, the outside parking lot for Unicity Mall. And... As you can see, that is China Square there, and we are at Unicity Mall. As they say, uh, China Square is Muduro and Kamkunji package together. Watch this and make the decision. Is that true, really? Look at the prices, look at the items, what stood out, and let us know in the comment section what you feel, all right? Yo, these amazing uh, woven baskets really caught my attention, and I think the pricing were quite fair. Uh, you'll find this mostly in Mudurwa and some parts of Izili and Kamkunji as well. So comment down below. Let me know the pricing uh, if it's fairer here or whatever. Just comment and let us know. But the variety, look at those. The range is 250, 200. Yes. Have you ever been to Okadeko in Two Rivers? I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it well. 
time I was there, I was overwhelmed, yo. It's more like Okadek with the feeling at uh, China Square. The items, some of the items are similar. You're going to see the glasses, uh, the cups, the carpets, uh, a, a couple of items, uh, a couple of inter interior deco items as well. So compare the two. Let me know in the comment section. Orca Deco or China Square? Which one do you prefer? I'd really love to hear from you, okay? <laughs> So you've noticed that in the video there are not so many customers that's because i respect people's privacy and i was avoiding you know the rows with people i was positioning my camera not to capture them just to focus on the shelves just so i do not you know uh interfere with their privacy As you can see, they have quite a variety of cutleries. I've seen these, um, is it gold coated knives and spoons at uh, Kamkunji? Check out the pricing and let us know down below. Is the pricing better than Kamkunji? Which one is more expensive? I'd really, really appreciate your feedback, yeah? Sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Now on to my most favorite section, the mirror section was to die for, I kid you not. And the pricing, you know, if you have bought uh, mirrors locally from the, some of the Instagram uh, 
you know, vendors or just some shops in, within Nairobi, you'll notice that the prices for mirrors, these deco mirrors, are quite high. They're steep, very, very steep. But here at uh, China Square, the prices were pretty pretty fair if you ask me compared to other shops that have bought mirrors from before and as you can see they're still very amazing designs the same same designs you're gonna find out there in uh, other vendors shops are the same ones that are here all right the quality the designs the glam these ones i kid you not mm -mm. if you want mirrors this section this is the best place to get your mirrors from so check the pricing the range was uh you could get from 1500 all the way up to you know 10000 but it's worth it it's way cheaper especially this section for mirrors uh uh this one hands down the mirrors here are way cheaper from what i've seen in other shops and i will not mention names so yeah check them out whenever you are here <laughs> Now, check out these clocks. In another shop, you see this first clock here? They were selling it at around 15,000 in a shop in Kenya. And here it's 6,000 shillings. That tells you something. Same quality, same design. Everything is the same. <laughs> so you could also look out for these uh, clocks whenever you are at China Square. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. If you haven't loved anything else yet, you've got to love this row. The colors, the designs, the quality. Yo! Amazing. Simply amazing. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful Wow, look at the patterns on these plates Wow so they actually stock some uh, brand of tissues as you can see but i noticed that it would be for tissues it would be better to just buy from our usual supermarkets like naivas i find them cheaper than here for the first time you look out uh, for the pricing check out the pricing compare with the naivas or whichever supermarket you buy from and let us know in the comment section <laughs> it's good to compare right <laughs> Represents my heart and everything that you've been waiting for. Just say I do 
Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, and then make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So China Square actually has a variety of glassware. Um, the glasses stood out for me. They have unique uh, deco decorations on the glasses and even the shapes. Compared to Oka Deco, yes, uh, you look at the quality, the shapes of the glasses, you know, the designs. There's some similarity and they're actually so nice <laughs> look at the one i'm holding there yo <laughs> whenever you are at china square look for this uh, this uh, row for glasses you will be spoiled for choice have you ever been to kitengela glass at the to the factory or probably at one of their shops like the one at the hub these glasses here resemble the ones made by Kitengela glass. And guess what? These are 210 shillings, Kenyan money. They are very heavy. The design, the color, amazing. And then there are those of us who cannot take care of uh, the real live plants. This section is for you. They have the artificial plants in every, I would say, variety you can think of. The colors, the sizes, the types of plants, um, the type of, of fake plants, artificial plants, <laughs> as you can see. You'll be spoiled for choice. So this is for you. They even had the small ones you've seen previously in the video. And yeah, the pricing, I would say very affordable compared to... I've gone to a couple of shops in Nairobi, which I will not mention. Uh, these were way, way more affordable. This section in particular. So load up the dice, so heavy. I know I said before that the mirror section was my most favorite part at China Square. No, I might have lied. This is the section I loved most. And actually, whatever I shopped came specifically from this section. I'm talking about the uh, car phone holders for use inside the car. Yo, look at the pricing. I've bought uh, the phone holders a couple of times and they've ranged between 1,000 to 2,000 Kenyan shillings. I kid you not. I know that you think it's so important to convince everyone else that you're not boring, but it's making me feel like my skin is crawling. I keep pouring out my. And now I take the opportunity to welcome you to the heaven of mags. Yes. If you're talking of ceramic mugs, porcelain mugs, glass mugs, plastic mugs, different colors, different uh, decorations, different writings, 
Yani, you will get every type of mug you can think of <laughs> at China Square. Whether you want to gift somebody for their birthday, you'll get suitable mugs for that. Whether they just want to, you know, uh, revamp your kitchen and have better looking mugs, you're going to find them there. Yo, look at those shelves and tell me. Whether you have those uh, friends who are coming over for sleepovers and you want to, you know, feel like some type of way, <laughs> you want to revamp everything, this is the place. And the pricing is quite affordable. I've been to Mudurwa, I've been to Kamkunji, I've been to Okadeko, quite a still when it comes to mugs at China Square. I kid you not. I'm not lying. I'm not trying to promote anything. I've not been paid to, to say this. No. These mugs, mm -mm. look at that. Look for yourself. Look, look for yourself. Took my sanity and sent it up the wall Typical emotional, it's so unoriginal I gave you the best and you just took it all By the way, we are still on uh, the ground floor. We've not gone to the first floor and second floor. Me tiene loco en la cabeza cuando me tocas. Siento que todo está bien, pero en verdad yo no sé si tú lo sientes también. No 
feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door, she at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. Allen girl, blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I got bad ones, and they ready. A good time, so now it's in the whip, we left the ass. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit. Think I'm seeing things. Read the line in mid between. Yellow light, I gotta speed up. Get home to a cold shower. Need that pronto. Look, look, look like a rave at the condo. Heck of a night in Toronto. She said, boy, you in Morocco. Pearl white mansion in the top go. Fill up my cup with the pop wall. I off life in the spot though. Running at the visa. Really talking to a real life Mona Lisa. Jesus piece is hanging off the fleece. So much going on, it's hard to focus on the features. I got one. Too many, I'm going. Two. Too crazy, and I got Three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's in the I was very shocked to find Bosch power tools at uh, China Square. This this shows you they, they did not come to play. These guys, uh uh. They did not come here to play, y'all. My fellow Du Bois people, all these items you're gonna see in the next few minutes are also valuable in Du Bois. Please compare the prices. Du Bois or China Square? Which one is cheaper? I got you. I got you, okay? <laughs> When you put your hand in my jacket, I'm thinking so irrational. You flew me international now. We could spend hours reading the signals, but that's so unoriginal. What if we took this back to my house? Under all these lights, I gotta take a minute, take a minute, take a minute to calm down. But I feel like if I told you I was ready right this minute, do you think that it would turn you on? If I told you I was ready right this minute, would you just run off and tell someone? I just feel like you need to know. I don't want to feel like we're wasting time. Tell me, should I go and call up a taxi? We can make out for a play in the backseat. Please tell me now how that all sounds. You can sleep in while I make breakfast, watch cartoons and talk about exits. And if you're happy, stick around. I just feel like this is worth the risk I never felt a quiet like this If I told you I was ready right this minute Do you think that it would turn you around? I just feel like you need to know If I told you I was ready right this minute Would you just run off and tell someone? I just feel like you need to know here, right now we're running out of things to talk about Right here, right now I'm about to let the truth come out If I told you I was ready right this minute Do you think that it would turn you on? You tell me now If I told you I was ready right this minute Would you just run up and tell someone? so by the time i was getting to the second row i was tired 
like crazy. But then I come and the first thing I see are these diffusers. Y'all, look at them. Mm -mm. The uniqueness. The ones made from the, some sort of wood and then the plastic wires and then... Oh, man. Uh-uh. Ah uh ah! -uh. So I stood there for a couple of minutes, just trying to regain some strength before I continue with the tour. These diffusers, ah uh ah, -uh. amazing, simply amazing. Eye candy. <laughs> I'm not a joyride, a hit and run. I thought I loved you, and you thought I was fun. I'm moving on down, down the road. Watch me as I go. Watch me as I go. And then our usual check-in time. Yo, yo. We're still breathing. <laughs> As you can see, my eyes look tired at this point. Ish. <laughs>
Checking time. <laughs> oh, look at how she does. Congratulations, we made it to the third floor. Yes, <laughs> here you will mainly see a lot of furniture. Enjoy, enjoy. Now, if you're a fan of glass furniture or glass aesthetics just in general you're gonna love these ones i bought a table almost similar to these ones the gold uh details and then the tempered tempered glass at the top ha huh, a while back and if i am looking at the pricing here at china square compared to what i bought the table at two years back mine was way expensive i think china square is pretty cheap when it comes to such kind of staples the quality is also very good i was able to get near and touch and just you know try to get the feel uh if you've gone to furniture palace you've seen a couple of uh tables that are almost the same design and i think odds and ends as well where else most of these luxurious uh, furniture shops have these kind of tables with tampered glass. And not only that, we also have uh, guys who are locally making them now. But still, the finishing for the ones that are imported are way, way better, to be honest. And also the glass is way more durable compared to the ones made locally. I have seen them. When it comes to the pricing, ah, these were quite a steal. And look at those ish. Let me see it properly. Look at those baskets. 
still amazing. Of course, it's, I don't think it's original leather, but the pricing is way, way, way better. Okay. These ones I would vouch for. Everything in the video I've said I would vouch for, I would vouch for is because I have uh, gone near and checked the quality and, you know, vis a vis the prices and compared to what I've seen locally. So, yeah. Give it a try. When you go there, check them out. Let me know in the comment section what you think, okay? How about this for a dining or office table? Just some sophistication never hurts, right? Comment down below. Would you consider this for either a dining or office table? I'm talking about both the silver and the gold. Let me know down below. And with that, we have made it age to the full tour of the China Square, all the floors ish. You think you're too far, but I'm where you are, you know I said I ooh, won't leave your side. This is the only restaurant at the mall as of July 2023 and KMC have also opened doors uh, at the mall. Whenever you're there, check out the meat that they are stocking over there. Are you overwhelmed like I was? Comment down below, let me know, all right? As we wind up, let's just talk about a small bit about Chinese um, population in Kenya, the modern population of Chinese in Kenya started in uh, the late 2000s, I'd say 2007, because the 2007 is when now we had like 40 Chinese restaurants in Nairobi, and population were up to 10,000, about 10,000 Chinese uh, immigrants in Kenya. But in the last decade, that population has really increased. We are talking almost 100,000 Chinese in the population, or even more, who knows? Because from the last, uh, from, uh, by 2019, they had passed the 60,000 mark. So now, four years later, it could be more. All right? I don't have the accurate data, but it's kind of the facts of the fact. And. How they have come in is mainly through the major projects that they've done in the country. We are talking the SGR, uh, we're talking uh, the expressway, we're talking the Pika Superhighway. So they come in, uh, they're doing the projects, and, but then they settle uh, in Kenya and uh, major in certain businesses, especially in electronics business, in business, they're doing restaurants currently. They're even in the clothes apparel business. They've gone to the processing zones 
the export process goes on and they have factories there. Um, uh, they've also gone into the restaurant business and also Chinese traditional medicine. So they're all over the place, yeah? Now it's not only road construction. Chinese are very clever. To protect their business, they actually settle in the most secure areas of Nairobi. Talk of Kilimani. <laughs> and that's why you're seeing the the margins of Chinatowns in uh, Nairobi. I've seen one in Yaya Center, next to Yaya Center, and um, there's one in, uh, what is it called? Abin's Kodek Road, the Chinatown there as well. You saw in the mainstream media a lot of protests from the local traders uh, coming out to say that uh, they are selling, China Square is selling uh, counterfeit goods or they are doing copies, they are coming to take pictures of local veteran staff and going to, you know, make <laughs> exact same things from China or oh, they are cheaper, like 50% cheaper than us so it's interfering with our business, da, da, da. there was a lot of protests and then just one month after China Square opened doors, they had to close. So they closed for a few weeks, if not one month, I'm not sure, because they opened just a month later. Comment down below, let me know what you think. <laughs> Did you like the video? <laughs> If you did and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment, like, share. Da, da, da. See you on the next one. Mwah! <laughs>